Looks like Sony are ramping up investment with PlayStation 5. We know Microsoft are doing something similar with Project Scarlet. Let's get into it. What is happening guys? Dealer here back again with yet another video talking about the PlayStation 5, Sony ramping up their investment in that platform. Now, of course, we're talking about this in conjunction with third party support as well. But uh, hey, first and foremost, I wanted to say hi. It's nice to talk to you guys again. I was gone for uh, a couple days over the weekend there. But of course, uh, we are back talking about all of the latest and greatest regarding next generation technology, hardware games and more. Now here lately, Microsoft did not said much about the Project Scarlet. Scarlet or any kind of new updates or games or things like that. So we've been hammering this type of stuff a lot here lately. And that trend continues with today's video. This time on Sony. Now they are actually speaking out on what types of software you might be able to see on the PlayStation platform over the coming years. And uh, you know what? It kind of reminded me of what Microsoft did back in 2012, 2013, where they launched the Xbox One with what was probably at least 50% second party deals, meaning they paid some kind of external developer, a developer they did not own to either work on first party IPs or other IPs to launch the system with. If you remember, about half of those games that came out with the Xbox One weren't really even made by Microsoft. They were contracted deals. Is it possible that Sony might do the same thing here? Well, let me know your thoughts as we go through this. So today's quote is short and sweet. PlayStation CFO says that not only is he confident in PlayStation 5 success, but he also says that Sony Studios as well as third-party developers are working on PlayStation 5 titles that will satisfy game fans. Now this article actually goes on to talk about studios like Bluepoint Games, a well-known Sony remaster studio, meaning they go back and remaster a lot of the critically acclaimed Sony titles from the past. Apparently they're working on some kind of big PlayStation 5 game as well that link is down below so you can check that out as always my question to you is are they really going all out on third-party developers much like microsoft did this generation because at the end of the day that didn't really turn out to be a great thing i'm not saying they are i'm not saying they're not but i think it's a good question how much are they leaning on third-party developers how much are microsoft going to lean on third-party development for the launch of their project scarlet History shows that it's always best to put that money into your own studios, into your own IP. And while both Microsoft and Sony are both looking to purchase more studios, there's only so much they can do with so much time. Maybe they're looking for a little bit of external help. And again, that's not always a bad thing, but it is something to think about. As of right now, I don't really see it being a bad thing. It means they could have more at the launch of the PlayStation 5 than we currently think they do. As of right now, they have zero titles confirmed for the launch of PlayStation 5, whereas Microsoft have Halo Infinite confirmed for the launch of the Project Scarlet. Is it possible that Sony are leveraging third party to get that count up? Is it possible that Microsoft are doing the exact same thing? Right now we know they are working on several big titles, but which of those titles will be ready around the launch window? That's really a good question on both sides at this point. Though Microsoft are the only ones with a launch title confirmed, at least at this moment in time, more games are never a bad thing, providing they are of quality and if we know anything of Microsoft's newer games with their newer studios they are definitely putting in more time and money than ever which is a great thing as well again let me know what you think Sony may be launching with their first party studios as well as their third party editions same thing on the Microsoft Xbox side personally I am quite stoked to see what's coming thanks for checking out this video it is a short one but you know what hey uh, it's something to talk about it's something to think about I will see you guys on RDS podcast that is tomorrow and from there who knows what news will break again hit that like button if you enjoyed the video maybe show a buddy or two if you get a second subscribe for more check out the links down below i'm dealer i'm out